Welcome to part 3 of our Solid Edge Wiring and Harness Design blog series. In this video you will be introduced to the Connect mode in Solid Edge Wiring and Harness Design. The Connected Mode Data Exchange functionality offers a direct data exchange for existing wiring and harness information between the Solid Edge Wiring and Harness Design and the Solid Edge MCAT products. Bidirectional cross highlighting and probing is supported between the wiring and harness designs managed in Solid Edge Wiring and Harness Design and its counterpart MCAT design in Solid Edge. This cross highlighting works across any machine on the same network and enables rapid, straightforward online diagnosis and understanding of design decisions and wire routing implications. Cross highlighting is enabled by clicking the cross select button in Solid Edge. Once it is in operation, you can pick on a wire or object in either Solid Edge or in the Solid Edge wiring and harness design diagram, and the same entity is highlighted in the other product. The connected mode is used for tightly integrated ECAD MCAD collaboration. The ECAD and MCAD software can be on the same computer or different computers on the same network. Once connected, you can exchange design data between Solid Edge and Solid Edge wiring and harness design. Let's have a look at this in a demonstration. To demonstrate this, I've opened up Solid Edge with an assembly file and solid edge wiring and harness design with a wiring diagram designed for this assembly. Also notice that in the solid edge assembly I've gone into the electrical routing module. The first step is to configure the two software so they can talk with each other. To achieve this connection I open up the configure command in both softwares. Next, I ensure that the port information matches what is shown here. With the correct port information set, I can select the Connect command from Solid Edge and the Solid Edge Connect command from the Solid Edge Wiring and Harness Design software. Notice the feedback indicating that I have connected the two softwares. Next, I'll launch the Bridge Out command, which sends the ECAD information for my wiring diagram over to my MCAD software. Once the data is transferred, I get a report showing that it transferred cleanly. I then return to my MCAD system and launch the update harness command. This launches a dialog for showing me the list of components. Notice that our two switches are highlighted orange. This is because they are identical switches and the system needs us to determine which part belongs to which row in this table. Here we can use the assign occurrence command to tell the system which part goes with which row. With all the components assigned, we move on to the next page, which is all our connectors. Notice the list of connectors here. So we just hit finish and our connectors are placed between the components based on the ECAD information. At this point we can make any desired modifications to the wires. For example we may wish to route these two wires through this wire clip as shown here. We can also edit individual wire paths. For example, we'll select this wire and switch the side that it's going into the terminal. I'll repeat the same edit to this wire path over here. With my desired edits to the wire path complete, I can now create physical conductors using the Create Physical Conductor command. Another nice option in our Connect mode is the ability to highlight items in both softwares. I'll use the Cross Select command and select the gauge and notice it highlights over here. I'll select the plugs, 
and I can select wires and they highlight in both software packages. So as you can see, the connected mode integration enables the real-time bi-directional transfer of solid edge wiring and harness design and solid edge authored data. If you want to learn more about solid edge wiring and harness design, please contact your account manager or visit us at www.designfusion.com. You can also call our head office toll-free at 1-888-567-3933.